Hey, I'm Melody. I am one of the co creators of Southern Travelers Explorer Conference, and we're so glad that you've bought a ticket and are going to be joining us for our sixth annual conference in Oconee County, South Carolina. So I have a few things I wanted to address with you. We have a lot of questions and I thought I would just get everybody on the same page. You can just watch this video and we'll go from there. So how STE works is that we have a conference. It's usually uh, Friday starting around four o'clock through Sunday noon or a little past that. And we have uh, between 50 and 65 tourism boards, writers, influencers, you name it, we'll run the gamut, you know, maybe some just uh, maybe some PR companies, like you never know, maybe some brands. But anyway, we all get together for a very intimate educational uh, weekend. And we uh, like to have a lot of fun, but we also want you to step out of your comfort zone and meet everybody there. So we don't allow any clicks. There's no clicks. Seriously, now, you're always a Girl Scout leader for years and years and years. And you can ask people who come to our conference. We are not having that bad behavior. We're not having any of that ostracizing people or anything. Everybody there is very valued and we are creating a family dynamic, meaning STE is a family. So we hope that you can keep that in mind and know that whenever you show up, you're going to make a lot of new friends and have a great network that will support you all, all year long. And there are some, it's just magical to see some of the friendships that have formed because of this conference. So I'm a proud parent of the conference. So Friday, we will gather around four o'clock. And again, these, these are just a tentative schedule. Uh, we will have like a, probably a session and then we will have a kickoff that the uh, host city will throw for us. And generally that is some sort of entertainment, you know, food, all that sort of thing. Just a great way to ease into the weekend. Then Saturday morning, bright and early, we will have a breakfast and then we will have a couple of uh, speaker sessions, meaning educational sessions. And then we will split into small groups and do some uh, group discussions. And the group discussions are really nice because it gives you a chance to talk with your peers about like best practices and learn some new tricks of the trade. So we've done this for all six years and it's been very successful. Um, so we're anxious to keep this format going. We then break around 1230 and split into smaller groups and we go see the, the town that the host city, you know, is, is plan for us. They might have activities that are geared toward history or culture or art or outdoor adventures or food or drink or whatever it is they choose that they want to showcase in their town. That's what we do. And you will have a voice in determining which thing you want to do much closer to time. So after that, we generally allow for at least like an hour downtime or something like that, let you get your breath and everything. And then we split into other small groups and do a dine around so that we can see the local restaurants in an area and support a, a much greater amount of businesses than if we were just to do like one group thing. So that is kind of a challenge on our part because working with restaurants is a little bit different than any other, you know, part of the moving puzzle, but it's always fun. And um, it's another way to put people in intimate small groups so that you can bond with new people. So in 2024, this year's conference, we had a late night activity, which was going to the Florabama. That was really cool. Florabama gave us tickets there and Alabama beaches provided transportation to get us there. If you wanted to go, you didn't have to go. But anyway, so we may have some kind of late night activity that's totally optional. Then on Sunday morning, we generally have two sessions. They're blogger based sessions. CVBs are welcome to join, but they may not get anything from those. We're not sure, you know, going forward, we could even have just a CVB only session at that time. Then we will have um, a brunch. I love to have like a Sunday brunch because we're generally in the South and that is, you know, good, the good eating day for us. Then we uh, come back and generally have another session or so. Then we split into a marketplace. So the marketplace is a very informal setting. Every tourism board that buys a ticket gets a space at the marketplace. That is, that comes with your ticket. You don't have to pay anything extra for that. So you'll have a table and a chair for yourself and a table for whoever you're meeting with. And you can bring as much stuff as you want, as much swag, as much, you know, uh, signage or whatever about your destination, or you can bring nothing. Really, we encourage you to be very minimal. This is all about relationships, not so much about dazzling somebody with what you can pass out or something of that nature. So it's entirely up to you. If you want to bring it, fine. And if you don't want, that's fine too. No judgment at all. So the marketplace generally lasts about two hours. In the past, we've just opened it up and people just went to whatever booth they wanted to and so forth. 
going forward, we will probably have a buzzer and allow only a certain amount of minutes because in all reality, you've had two full days to talk to the people before it gets to this point. So we don't want uh, someone monopolizing a certain destination's time so that nobody else can meet with them. So we will probably use that buzzer system this year. Okay, moving on. So that's how the conference will play out. Oh, let's see. Uh, what else? Where will we stay? We're staying at the Fairfield Inn and Suites, Seneca Clemson area. The rate is one twenty nine per night. They have they have so generously offered from three five to three eleven with those rates. So. You know, you get free breakfast and free Wi-Fi, and like I said, I think you get free parking. So that's a great opportunity to explore the area. Greenville is an hour away. I think Clemson is 30 minutes away. So there's other places in that area you might want to see besides Oconee County, which has, you know, a whole bunch of places to see. Which airport will you fly into? Greenville, Spartan, South Carolina is the airport that you would want to pick if you're flying there. It's 57 miles from Seneca. Oconee County will have a shuttle run on Friday. It will most likely be before two o'clock so that we can get you back to the hotel and checked in and everything before the conference officially starts. And then on Sunday, there will be a shuttle um, provided after the conference. So as long as your flight is probably after three o'clock or something like that, that three something that should probably be fine because you'll probably leave the hotel around one, which would put you there at two. So that's just a tentative. Airlines that fly into the GSP airport, which is Greenville Spartan, are Allegiant, American, Breeze Airways, Delta, Southwest, and United. So you have a lot of choices there. How communication works for the conference is um, we will send a few emails. We try not to bombard you with emails. We know you get a million of them. So closer to time, there'll be a couple of important ones. But other than that, I'm doing this video this year to alleviate those questions. We also have a Facebook page. Our dedicated Facebook page for the conference is Southern Travelers Explore. So if you can go follow that Facebook page, we'll keep you abreast of everything on that page. It'll probably be announced there first. Um, let's see. We've never put an attendee list out anywhere and people ask me for an attendee list and I've just never like really done that because I just think it's kind of like soliciting people and people are just like judgy and that's the people we don't want here. We do not want those people at our conference. If you are thinking, oh, I'm only coming to this conference if I can get this certain person to come to my destination, this conference is not for you. So with that being said, I think that this year I would put just like a roll call um, post on Facebook and tag it to the, the top of the page. And if you want to comment that you're coming, that's well and good. And that's also a way you can maybe find a roommate. If you're looking for a roommate or someone to share expenses with, maybe you can look from that list. So that'll be something new. And um, will there be fam trips? We certainly hope that there'll be pre or post or both fam trips from nearby destinations. It's way too early to tell, but anyway, just let you know that. And I wanted to read you the bio from Oconee County. Uh, just so it'll give you a little idea of what Oconee County is about. It says, nestled in the northwest corner of South Carolina and the foothills of Blue Ridge Mountains, Oconee County is a gem waiting for you to explore. It offers breathtaking natural beauty and a wealth of outdoor activities. Visitors are drawn to its stunning waterfalls, there's more than 29, pristine rivers, and picturesque lakes, which provide perfect settings for hiking, kayaking, fishing, or endless outdoor adventure. Oconee County's proximity to major southeastern metropolitan areas makes it an ideal destination for a day trip or a weekend getaway. And let's see, I wanted to tell you um, what the, the towns were in Oconee County. There are a bunch of small ones that I have not been to, but the ones that I did go to when I visited there were Walhalla, West Union, Long Creek, Seneca, Westminster. And Seneca is kind of the, the bigger town that has, I guess, more things to offer and probably Walhalla is next. So I think you're gonna really love this year's conference. And again, if you've, you know, bought a ticket, you've received this video, it's confirmation that we have you on the list and we will keep you abreast of whatever happens next. So just stay tuned to that Facebook page and we'll make announcements as, as they come. If you have any questions, you can drop me a line at southerntravelersexplore at gmail.com or you can just post it in the thread, however it is you want on Facebook. Um, but you can ask whatever it is you need. I'm happy to help. Thanks so much.